Hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. What's your name? My name's Mackenzie. Say that again, I'm Mackenzie? sorry. Mackenzie? Mackenzie? Yes. Nice to meet you, Mackenzie. Nice to meet you as well. And how old are you? I'm 30. 30, okay, okay. Where are you from? I'm originally from South Philly. Um, mm -hmm. I came out here when I was 29. So I've been out here for like a year now. Came out here when you was 29, just yeah. moved out here? Well, okay. Eight years, cool. I've been getting high since I was, what, 14? 14? Yeah. Mm. What was your drug of choice? Um, it started off with, um, I got hurt at work. So they got, they prescribed me uh, 30 milligrams of um, oxycodone. So that's how it all began. Um, so they gave me um, 180 every 29 days. So we started off with that and then I moved to, to dope. The oxycodone. Yeah. And I started shooting dope um, about eight years ago. Selling myself to, to, to make money. Down here? Um, basically, prostitute to, to gain money so I can support a drug habit. Mm. Uh, how much do you earn a day? It, de it depends, it varies, honestly. Not, you don't need much out here, honestly. Um, it, it depends on like the day and the time. Okay. Um, but it supports my habit. What's the most you made out here? Um, shit, almost thousand dollars in one night. In one night. One night. Yeah. How do you survive out here? Um, it, it's hard to survive out here. Um, basically, it's it's a it, every day like every day thing. Like, you know, I don't know. So I'm trying to figure out what to say. Um. I'm, I'm barely surviving, basically. I need help. I need help. I need to get some help. Oh, let me get you help. Seriously. You need recovery. Was the last, have, you, have you ever had any clean time? Yeah, I had two years clean. About a year and a half ago. But I turned it around and wound up getting in trouble again and get, doing some jail time. Because all this is going to lead to is jails, institutions, and death. Mm. It's all the free things that we have, mm -hmm. honestly. It's not a way of life. I mean, I've lost everything. And what's your drug of choice at the moment? Heroin. Mm. Now, how often do you consume heroin? Often, as much as I can. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. You have any children at all, or kids? Yeah, I have four kids. Four of them? Yeah. I just had a baby. Just had There's a There's so many girls out here pregnant right now. Pregnant and still easy. Mm. It's just crazy. It's not a way of life. I believe it. Are you homeless? You yeah, have shelter? I slept on a concrete uh, mm. step by the side. What? Yeah. Literally. What about the shelter out here? Have you ever tried to go to the no, shelter? I've never tried to go to the shelter. Why not? I just had it. There is shelters out here, though. There is, there is help out here. If you need it, there is. There is, though. Absolutely. So it's just your choice not to go. Now, has your family ever tried to come get you up off the streets at all? No, I just lost my mom two months ago. She committed suicide. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. So, I don't have anybody. Just me. Mm. Now... Where do you see yourself in five years? Not here. I see myself with my kids. You know? You gotta get recovery to get back in your kids' life. That's for sure. And you say you just had one? Yeah, he's like eight months old. Where is he at now? He's with his father. His father doesn't do drugs. His oh. father doesn't, does, no. doesn't, okay. He's a great dad. Okay, that's good. Yeah, thank God. To hear that, mm -hmm. but you know, if you seek recovery, you put your all into it. I know I you can know do you. it. I know I can. Get them back. Absolutely, I will. I know I will. Yeah. So if anybody out there is struggling with this and, and, and needs help, there is help out there. 
Do you see change for Camden at all? Absolutely. Yes, I do. I hope so. I pray. You no, know, get these girls up off the streets. Get yeah. you up off the streets. It's not a way of life. This is just existing. It's not. It's not real life. I'm real life terms. You know what I'm saying? I just realized I wasn't wearing anything. But, um, what, what were some hobbies before drug use? I used to clean houses. But, um, okay. Right. Yeah, that was, that was what I did. Day in and day out. Mm -hmm. So I might get back to that. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely There's should. hope. There's definitely hope. Now, how do the drugs affect you? Like, do you see yourself? Well, I wake up sick. First and foremost, I don't. I'm not me. I'm not who I really truly am. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just existing. I don't. I don't like the person that I am. Have you ever OD'd? No. Good thing you never OD'd. I never OD. You gotta stop. I know. No, I know I do. There's hope in me that I will get better. Was the last time you tried? Actually, when I, after I had my son, I tried to go to um, Maryville. Tried to go to Maryville? Yeah. It just didn't work out. And, and, and how far did you get? Not far. I had an um, abscess, so they said he was in the hospital. Uh -huh. And I was four days in the hospital, and then I, I made a thing right here. Mm. It was like nothing else mattered, but yes. Um, I, I had an abscess, so I was in the hospital for four, four days. And then I was, I wasn't getting help for the drug use. So I, I just was like, you know, I'm just trying to get high. That's exactly what I did. Do you have any friends out here? Not anybody you run with out here? Any. There's no friends out here. No. Nobody you can trust? No. There's not, not a single soul out here you can trust. Sorry to say. I mean, there's OGs out here that, that, that have stomped this ground for 15 plus years and, and, I got five years clean. I'm just with one of my boys uh, a couple weeks ago. But my way of life and his way of life is two totally different things. So we don't man, we don't we don't mess well together. So you you've seen other addicts get clean. Yes. Does it yeah. motivate you? Absolutely. That's why I showed on it. It was it, it was inspiring because to see somebody and then go to that is what I want. It's what I need. See him come from this and go from, go to that. Mm -hmm. That's what you need, right? Yeah, real. <laughs> Definitely, man. It, you know, like when I do when I get locked up and I do jail time, I feel the Holy Spirit in me. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. Yeah. And Very spiritual. That, I don't know if I could ever if I could do it. You know what I'm saying? Without that that spiritual being, I don't think I could get. I could say be clean and safe. I always tell people it's easy to it's easy to. Um, get clean. Mm -hmm. It's it's harder to stay clean. Mm. And that's the truth of it. I mean I came in you know, it's a city city in itself, you know, it's it is dangerous out here, don't get it fucked up. Um, but you know, you gotta you gotta know your way on it. You can't just come out here and just think just walk the streets and be okay can not really like that. It really isn't. You know, there's, there's, there's crazy ass people out here. You gotta be really careful. Just like last what? night, I woke up with someone in my back, in my purse, just rooting through it. And I'm talking about somebody that I know, that I have blessed. It's going through your so now purse. you're blocking your busting even more. You know, I tell people, don't block your busting. You know, give somebody a chance. If somebody comes up to you, let them speak. Let them be who they are. That way you. You're not blocking your own blessing. Right. You know, it's not. It's not cool. Mm. It's not. It's not a way of life. You know. I need you to quit for me. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, I'm almost there. All time me to be praying for you. Okay. Yes, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.